Good morning, guys. Good morning. It is record store day week. I just, I just want to point this out. Good morning, it, guys. Good morning. Oops, we're streaming. Record my store. computer's messing up. This is my favorite made-up holiday is record store day. I think this came last year, uh -huh. so I still have it on my cup. Yes, I do watch good this morning, cup. Guys. Well, good morning, guys. Our volume was morning. up on all our laptops today. Ah. Okay, I think we're under control now. We maybe. got it now. So we are doing a show and tell mega show. I'm not showing all the record store items. That would just be suicide. It'd be a long, be a long show. show. We got stuffed in Yeah, we got a lot of prep work to do today. But that's okay. We're going to go through and do a little bit deeper dive on a couple crates worth of vinyl. Um, doing some show and tell. Maybe uh, you guys a little bit, you know, there's 400 releases and it's I think it's 387, unless they've changed it a little bit, because I haven't been back in for a couple of days, so I've been off to actually see, you know, I'm going to go through the website right now. It's really easy to overlook some releases, yeah. you know, you get to the day and you're like, oh, I didn't know that came out, oh, I didn't know that right. was Mike McCready, I didn't know that that was Chris Robinson was in that, I didn't know that. I don't know any of those people you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> That's why we're talking about these, uh, and there's a lot of that on Record Store Day. There's always a lot of weird and cool releases. It's still showing. So I just pulled up the Record Store Day list. I pulled up the um, the web view, not the PDF. And then you go to the bottom of the first page, and it says showing one of 50 rows, blah, 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 387 rows. So the last time I did check, it was still 387. 387. Uh, it started at 388, so I don't know what was taken out of there. I'm not going to do a one-by-one -one comparison. No. <laughs> it would take too long. So yeah, three hundred eighty-seven. I think, I think we still need thirty to thirty-five-ish titles. I guess I could count them while Nick's talking. But I did notice um, on one of the invoices that your mom has that I think there's at least a good fifteen to twenty titles that we haven't received that are on that list yeah. that hopefully will be coming. Today. It should be here today. I'm watching the I back door. So. I mean, they're going to be delivering records today. So oh yeah, I'm watching for it. Um, I mean, we don't have, we didn't do a deep dive on birthdays and stuff because we have, it's the record store day show. So, but what do you got for us in there? Oh, I just have, this kind of fits in with the store. It's National Librarian Day. That works. That works today, right? National Orchid Day. Uh, Save the Elephant Day. Wear Pajamas to Work Day. Man, I wish I would have read that one before yeah, I came to work. You I missed, missed it. it. I didn't even wear stretchy pants to have real jeans on. So I can't, I yeah, National World Semicolon Day. There's just a day for everything, let me tell you. It's National, National Annette needs to get on Record Store Day work today. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make that a national. You know what? You're doing pretty good, though. I would yeah. say we got 85% of the work done for online and pricing and inventory. Um, um, Pink Floyd Clear Vinyl. Yeah, the Dark Side of the Moon's getting the cool that's clear with the prism on it. Oh, comes out dude, Friday. no way. I didn't know about that. Yeah, we got a bunch of those coming. I don't know how many. Why do they put, why, why do these big well, releases come the day before records? You got Taylor Swift coming out. Yep. You've got this Dark Side of the Moon Pearl special Jam. edition. You got Pearl Jam, Pearl Jam coming out. Come on. So those are all coming out on Friday and then records for today is Saturday. Woo. Yeah, that's going to be a, it's a lot of, and then you that have. clear one. I didn't even know anything about that. That sounds so cool. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch well, of those coming. I just, the other day I had my Dark Side of the Moon t-shirt on. Um, Last year, people scoffed at me when I bought the Doors 3-inch player. Now they, yeah, the Beatles one, show that. That is so cool. You got to see all the stuff that comes with it. So the Beatles package this year comes with. I think we've got eight of six. Oh, we got, I think, eight. Eight. Um, the little record case, all four records and the player, and the player's Bluetooth. Oh. Which is nice, so you can... I didn't realize You can Bluetooth. wirelessly hook it up to your receiver or your speaker or whatever. So it makes it a little more usable. You know, if you've been collecting the three-inch and you that's need a player, so that's, that's pretty neat. Um, we do have the all of them individually, so if you already have a player and you don't want to, you know, have to buy another player... They're $18 each this year, which 
Actually, MSRP was eighteen ninety nine. We haven't marked at eighteen. We haven't marked under MSRP. I felt like almost twenty bucks was really gouging. Pushing, pushing the limit there. And uh, I dropped it. I, I'm only I'm a buck under MSRP. Much How much is do. the whole um, 180. system? One eighty. One eighty for four records, the case and the player. That little case is so cute. There's also, I think we've ordered them. We haven't gotten them yet. It's also another turntable that maybe a lot of people missed on the list because I think it was a late yeah. ad. It wasn't a late ad, but when you look at the listing, you think it's going to be a record because of the way they have it listed. Yeah. It's uh, Metro Booming Booming presents Spider Man, and it's um, it's a spider. It's limited edition Spider Man across the Spider Verse soundtrack RSD three inch turntable with Spider Man comes with three three inch records. Um, and the records are actually in a, a Japanese design flip jacket that includes artwork from the film. Yeah, so, so they're, I think they're only making a thousand of them. 250. 250 so of the Spider-Man. So we may or may not get one. Uh, I Those ordered them. Super limited. I think we got like six coming, six or eight coming. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think yeah, a lot of stores Spider-Man missed them. I think it was just all the hype was on the Beatles and they forgot about the Spider-Man. And they, they're only available as the player in three records. They're not individual records. You have to buy it all as one kit. Also, if you're getting the individual Beatles three inch, make sure you get the spindle. They sent us little tiny spindles. For the well, you know what we should do? Okay. We have to put them together or something. Somehow. That's what I'm thinking. We need to put them together somehow because, yeah. Otherwise, they're not going to spindles. So. That's another little, I don't know if they screwed up or what the story is, but... Uh. Well, Ray, we, they got you this year, didn't they? <laughs> um, we usually don't do pre-orders on the website like that. We just don't know how many we're actually going to get in, so... I would if I had time, but this week is nutso. Um, um, I could probably put one aside for you. I, I'll, like I said, stuff should be coming in. We got so much going on, we're just trying to keep the wheels turning here. So Linda Ronstadt box set. Yeah, it's on her website. Let me pull it up. I want to Actually, see like I got one, right, you got sure here. one right there. One oh one ish, maybe. It's on the front there. One oh one. One oh one. Four LPs. Four LPs. Before we spend the rest of the show talking about record store day stuff, I wanted to talk a couple about a couple things. Uh went to Axpona last weekend. Met Mike from the Ingroove. Met Melinda Murphy. In person. In person. Uh, listen to tons of stereos. I go, I try to go every year now to educate myself on stereo equipment so that I can help everybody in the store and get items for the store and, and really, uh, you know, do what I do best. Um, talk to the guys at Yamaha. There's a lot of cool new products coming out. I wish um, they'd put out a reasonably, be reasonably priced decent cd player i'd really like to have it but i don't want to pay 1200 bucks for a yep. yamaha cd player so they're at right now. they are at 1200 yep. bucks i've got the yamaha um maybe receiver. we can find a used one or maybe i'll keep my eyes peeled well, i've got cd do. players it's just i'd like something to go with my um, yeah whatever yamaha, yamaha receiver that i have right now with the silver face on it i'd love to have that nice little set um well nick you know how i order paypal payments on the web. that's why i asked well, well, they we'll, might we'll figure it out. Somehow. They might come in today, and we'll just put them right on the website today. Or whenever they come in, we'll we'll process them. We're just shorthanded, and we got a lot going on this week. You know, normally we do get our new shipments usually on Thursdays. They might have speed, they so might they speed might up be this here week. Thursday or with record store day. They might not make it till Friday. We don't. We just don't know. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to do the RSD chart. My other favorite thing to do every week. Number one on the chart last week is the new Crumbin. And I still need to so listen to this. We're putting we're gonna we're gonna listen to this after the show today. Because if it's anything like that other stuff, man, I just love their music. Um I listened to it a couple times. It's it's exactly what you think it's gonna be. It's nice not and a, chill and ambient. Yeah, it's, and it's very I think it's even more I think Mordecai was more of like a disco y, a little bit more upbeat. This is I think even more chill. Than the last oh, album. Oh gosh, I mean it's still in the same vein. It's you know if you are like the Crumbin, you're gonna like this record. It's not a major departure. I just think that the Mordecai had a lot of like cool world beats and discoy things going on. This is a little bit more waxed. Not a ton. You're not gonna fall asleep to it, but. No, I don't use Offer Up. We usually 
I do have plenty of CD players at home. I'm just want that aesthetic. You want the cool. You want <laughs> I want cool, a nice. Yeah. You know, I no, I we've probably got at least four or five CD players at home. I'm sure. I've got two just hooked up to my system right now. <laughs> so. Number two is the Black Keys, and I've been selling this. Snot out of it. I've been listening to the snot out of it. It's good. I love it. It's really the good. The first two times, I'm like, eh, and then, man, it's just grown out. I mean, I love this song, the, the, the song, um, Beautiful People Stay High. <laughs> it's, I love the beat on it. It's so nice. That the, there's so many variations of mu um, musical types on here. Kind of takes you, one song will be just up and poppy and this and then another one has a little bit of maybe hip hop ish kind yeah, of undertones couple, yeah. to it. So it's all over the place. I, we've been selling more of these in our store than we have been selling of these. We've been really selling the snot. Well, we only got two of those in when they came in. There's still two on the wall, but oh, then maybe we got it more. Maybe we got more in later. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this has been this has been doing the best for us. Fun fact that they found an image from the '50s that they wanted to use for the cover, and they couldn't get the rights. They couldn't find the owner. To, to license the uh -huh. photo. So they just reenacted it. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so they just reenacted it. They're just like, well, let's just make our own photo. That's how I kind of bowl, but I usually end up flat on the, you know, and then gutters. So yeah, they took their own, just, <laughs> you know, for whatever. Number three is the Vampire Week. Man, they got one, two, three. Those are, those are, uh, I think these were prime record store titles. They're not female titles. They're your prime demographic for record stores right now. Crumb Ben Black Keys Vampire Weekend. That's a one, two, three slam dunk. Uh, there's a new Vampire Weekend. Conan Gray. Okay, there you go. There's your younger, you know, your younger generation. And then number five, Alice in Chains Jar of Flies. I've also been selling the snout out of this as well. And number five. eight, Marcus King, the new Mood Swings. That's a pretty good album too. Yep, yeah, number eight. I've listened to that a couple times. You know, we're April is just loaded with so many new releases. Yeah. It's going to be a real big shakeup on the charts this month. Yeah. And it's going to be fun be. to see what lasts and what doesn't. I think... Yeah. I mean, I think Black Keys is probably going to... Crumbin and Black Keys are probably the strongest. Uh, Vampire Weekend's good. I haven't heard a lot of buzz about it. And of course, to any of this is going to take a while for this to calm down. Yeah. Um... Yeah, um, Casey Musgroves was up at number, what was she, six or six? She's seven? number six. Number six I can't yeah. get stock. If That will last because no one can get records. Oh. I, we can't get them. We, we have them back ordered. The why we didn't them. have them. Um, and then the rest of the list is pretty pretty normal. I'm, I'm thinking next week's list. Um, I don't know if we'll list yet next week, but you know the week after, you know what number one's going to be. The new Taylor Swift. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Yeah. New Taylor Swift. Speaking of which, they surprised us, and there are four, three indie variations coming three. out. Three indie variations. All of them have a different bonus track. Different cover, different bonus track on all three. Did you, anybody out there see the Billie Eilish uh, controversy about all the different variants? She said that, yeah. and everything and But she does the same thing. Not as much. Okay. <laughs> well, you can't say that and then come out with four variants. Right. Oh, it's did she like, come out with four variants? Well, she's like got that? she's got at least two or three. Yeah. I mean, talk about calling though, was it two kettle call the pot black? Yeah, something like you that. Know, it's just like, look, if the market's there, people are buying it. Who cares? People are excited about it. Let them be excited about it. I have a movie quote. If anybody can, and I know y'all are smart about this, and I might get the quote backwards. Am I miserable miserable because of pop music, or did pop music make me miserable? Mm. Guess what movie I watched over the weekend? Is that High Fidelity? It or is, is that, High Fidelity. High Fidelity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those glass houses, sometimes they don't work too well, do they? Swag. Disappointed this year. Yeah, the record store day swag bag that we get every year. The this box came last week and everybody was gone. I looked and I'm like, oh, there, there's going to be some good stuff in here, right? Well, I suppose the box was filled mostly with these gold mine magazines. I don't think they've ever done it before, so this is probably a first. 
This is the RSD twenty twenty four issue. Have they ever done this with other years? It's I don't think strictly so. gold mine for mm -hmm. it. So you know, I guess that can be cool. To add to your collection. There's interesting stuff. There's some, you know, write ups and information. So that's pretty cool. And there's one of the albums we don't have yet. So you know, well, I, think I, don't people, like his, yeah. I think people prefer more like you know. Here's a Paramore button. Balloons. Here's a Record Store Day balloon. What else did we get in this? Stickers. Did we didn't get tote bags this year? BCW stickers. Those are the bag. <laughs> the, what's the name of the bag company? Um, I'm not sure what else all is in here. Um, it, I mean, we did get the poster. The poster's in the box. So we will have the Record Store Day posters. This, this sticker's fun. Maybe maybe if there's one extra, I might have to replace that. Vote for vinyl. On my cup. Go play some records. You'll feel better. There you go. There. That's that's a little more. Yeah. Vote for vinyl. And it's got the little that on the side. That, I these aren't even that. really big enough to be coasters. I don't know what they're supposed to I be. Don't know yeah. But um, so that was a little disappointing. I know I was in my record store day owners group, and everyone was kind of saying the same thing. So. Were they? What's yeah. This? Oh, we are gonna have our own. We're gonna. Re, we are reprinting our uh, support your local record store shirts. I saw you post that on Facebook. I didn't know about that. Well, uh, Art Honestly. Daily reached out to me. They're doing one color. We're doing another color. So that's kind of cool. I have two colors coming out for it. Okay. Only... So two colors. Is one store getting one color? Another store getting another correct. Color? They're getting. They call it pepper. Mine's an ivory with an orange. Oh, I thing. only saw the pepper one. Yeah, we're gonna get a. So that'll be cool. Those are ivory. only gonna do a short run of like. 50 or what 60. other store is getting them? Art Deli is doing the other color. Yeah, but for what store? It's or just a support your local here? record store. No, we're getting well, they're, the ivory. they're keeping it for their store. Yes. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, I was a little confused, obviously. No. Yep. It doesn't take much these days sometimes. So yeah, swag. Um, of course, we got our we got a sale bin out, twenty percent off. You, new vinyl bin. I got a couple crates over here ready to go. Our mystery bags are back and ready to roll. Fifteen dollar mystery bags. I got, I don't know, thirty of these suckers. Um, I'm, I'm thinking these are gonna go pretty quick too. So, always a favorite by people in the store and for you guys. Got to use my wrapping skills to do that. You know, I was just thinking that we usually take phone orders. But you're not gonna be here. It's gonna be harder. Here. It's gonna be much harder to take phone orders. Well. John's will probably take them. John, John, John will probably John be the one on the phone this year. Yeah. I got to see if he wants to want me wants me to get my headset out and get that charged That's up. That's probably he just a good wants idea. Me the phone. Get him, get him some. Should we should we dive in to some of the stuff? Let me, well, let me go list, through yeah. the list of what we don't have. I like yet. that. I like that. Um. So here's my list. Of course, I did a big print and everything, but. What we don't have so far, and I know some of these are coming, I should have made a list of which. So we haven't got 100 Gex, okay. which is a, a, a 10 inch. Lily Allen, it's a picture disc. Amorphous, At the Drive-In, At the Gates, Blur, David Bowie, Buena, Buena Vista Social Club, self-titled, Sabrina Carpenter. We have not got Eric Kiss, the LP. We do have the CD. The CD's here, yeah. The Nat King Cole, we have not got the LP nor the CD. I do know for that one's definitely coming. Daft Punk. I think we already got, I need to scratch some off in here because I think we did get the Doctor Who. So let's yeah, scratch Doctor that here. Fleetwood Mac, rumors we haven't gotten. We have not got the Jerry Garcia band. We have not got the Grateful Dead yet. That just surprised, that, that shocks me. Usually, man, those are right, right there. Um, GBI, which is the Grohl, uh, who is that GBI? It's the Dave Grohl, um, let's see, you guys know, let me see, right, you later. It's Grohl, Benante, and Ian, and it's a seven inch. Um, Hunter Hayes, Elton John Caribou, Yorma, which we have CD. Or hang on. There's an LP of Yorma, okay, there maybe, might be two of them. Maybe we need the CD. No, you know, I think we might have gotten that, so I need to check that back. Wiz Khalifa, I haven't seen that. Mark Knopfler, we haven't gotten. Lofi. That's right, yeah. Lofi, however. John Lennon, 
We haven't gotten either the color nor the black variant. Lettuce, Motley Crue, Nas, OMD, the, the Bauhaus Staircase. We, we got the get, other one. We did get the other one. Uh, David Byrne and Paramore. Of course, Paramore is the ambassador this year. Yeah. Um, Pearl Jam we haven't gotten. No, because there's a Friday version and then there's a record store version. Oh my gosh. So that's not going to be confusing at all. Um, I have to look this one up because I didn't type the entire name of the band, so I need to pull that up. Um, and that Yorma, I know we got a Yorma, Kakan, and I went, it's in this. The album? The album, yeah. The question okay. is, maybe you need the CD or maybe... There might be two, because sometimes they release two at a time. No, they only did one. It says I need the CD only. So okay, it says that, I have that makes sense. But I swear we got a CD of that, and so I will have to check. Um, so we do not have Pucho and his Latin Soul Brothers yet. Queen, which is a 7-inch, we don't have that. Is it Chappelle or Chapel? Chappelle Roan. Uh, Pink Pony Club 7-inch. Well, the Rodrigo and Noah Khan. We do not Khan. have the Rodrigo and Noah Khan 7-inch yet. Rolling Stones Live at Racket. We don't have yet. We do have the other release, which I think was just the, the self-titled. Twelve inches here, yeah. The self-titled, their the self -titled. first album, I think. Sonny Rollins, which may have come in. I need to check on that one. Scenic, we don't have. Susie and the Banshees, Ringo Starr, Tom Tom Club. Now, what? I may have seen one of those, but I may be mistaken. Frank Turner, I haven't seen the various artists. South Park, no, I haven't seen that either. Issue either. And I have not seen the various artists top shelf nineteen eighty eight issue, and I have we haven't gotten to Frank Zappa. So those are the ones we don't have. Obviously, I still have everything listed as one. I'm hoping to be able to, depending on what comes in today and what happens, I'm hoping to be able to start doing some update on quantities because yeah, I'm kind of limited with time this week. I am gonna uh, I have to take off early Friday. I won't be here Saturday. Yeah, have a huge huge event. It's my son's wedding. So. Yay! Yeah, I can't believe it's almost here. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, Mom's yeah, gonna be that, a little teary eyed that day. Not a problem. Well, good. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, let's start with the little box. Yeah, and, and, may, and maybe box. I'll be able to pop some off my list if I see what's coming through. Gil Scott Aaron 7 CD. Here's that Kiss CD. We're waiting for the, or the LP. car. Yeah. Waiting for the LP still, but here's Unfinished Business. I need something to wait with. Thunberg. They do the mini LP version on those. That's kind of fun. Okay. Well. Probably the most CDs I've ever had of anything from Oh, Red definitely. Story. Yeah, I think so. Our whole stack of the doors. Two CD. Um, two CD live show. No. You know. 68. One thing that's really confused me this year is everybody's referring to the Doors L release as a, even the record store day information calls it a box set. It's not a box set. It's a trifle, isn't it's it? It's a trifle. It's yeah. all three LP. I know that, but I know, it's I kept looking box. and looking and looking all over for a Doors box set. Well, it's not. De La Soul Live. They're calling it an LP box set, is what they call it. That's not a, it's a yeah. color box. <laughs> well, here's the Yorma Kakanen CD. Is that the one I said I didn't have? I don't know. I'll put it over here. Or it's maybe even I have the CD only. Okay, I think I got the LP too. I'll have to look. Public Enemy CD. That's what we got for CDs. Put that I don't back. even have anything to write with. Can you, um, can you reach that pencil yeah, for me? Just like couldn't I couldn't get out anywhere. <laughs> it's a little tight. Okay, this way I can update my list if need be. Yeah, good. <clears throat> I don't know, grab a stack. Well, I thought you were gonna finish that box. That, oh, I got seven in the charger. Yeah. We'll see what we got for sevens. All right. Oh wait, there's the Dwight Yoakums too. Oh yeah. So no, this is a box set. No, this is a Dwight Yoakum box. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it got the little is. spines on it and everything. I don't remember they how many CDs are in there. Four CDs, it looks like. There might be a booklet in there. I don't know. I think it's a booklet and like four, three or four CDs. Let's see. CDs, four CDs. Dirty Heads. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Mitch Rowland. The Lanny Wilson is like a double seven-inch gatefold. It's really nice. Uh, this is it, curated by DJ Coco. It's the um, Brazil 45 
uh, seven inch box set. It's got five. I'm surprised you only got one of those. You know, we used to get a bunch of them, and I think people have caught on to them and they've really started buying them for the stores. Because I I ordered more than one. I I ordered more than one, but they only make so many, so. (laughs) Combined wedding and record store day, he doesn't give a hoot about record store day. I don't even know if he's got a stereo hooked up yet, but I know he's got one. And I've given him some records, but don't know how far that goes. Pharaoh Sanders. Bobby Rush, Dust Bowl Revival, Blind Boys of Alabama, 7-inch on 30 Tigers. The Black Crows is stuck with the same uh, type of cover as the new album. And this one you can't, t- I wonder... You can still see like the flag through this one and stuff because. I wonder if it's a different album cover or is it the same? It's one that I, I can't tell because I can't really see through this, but this one I can't tell. Yeah, they're pretty hard to see. We've got a couple of those. Eric Church, Caldwell County. Got five of the Eric Church sevens. <laughs> well, Ray, it will be sunshiny somewhere. Slater Kinney. Got five of those. This time here today, got a nice little selection of the Slaters. Uh, the Moss. What do I have here? No Gallagher. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, No Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Of course, they have one pretty much at least every record store day I think I've been around. They've had one. Eric Church. There you go. Oh, man, you got more of those, huh? Big Boy Dury. Um. I can't figure out which one it is. It's on the side. Oh, this is the Holly Humberstone 7 inch. That'll go fast. The Moss. Little Peep. Star Shopping. Kate Nash. I've already showed that one. And then that one. The Body Snatchers. Which, did you all notice that a couple of things this year about the record store day is, which is going to be kind of confusing, is the body. First off, the Body Snatchers. So there is a. Body Snatchers LP. Oh, yes. Body Snatcher without the S on the end. And there's a Body Snatchers 7 inch. That's there's, not confusing at all. Uh, no. And then there's like Dirty Heads, but they've got one is 7 inch. Then they've got the box set. Um, who are some of the other? OMD. And it's weird because, like, on the list, they've got it listed as one is listed as OMD and one's listed we want, as we want, orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Why, why make them two different? Well, how about Dio? Last in live, last in line. Yeah. Two releases. And what is that one that the covers are exactly the same? That Paramore. Paramore. The remixes. Uh, they're in then, here. We can show them. Yeah. That, that's just. They're being, Confusing. They're being mean. Well, they need they need, the, they need somebody like me. I'd be more than happy to tell them because obviously I don't have problems go. saying things. Don't, don't do this. It's difficult. Yeah, especially it's, on record store days when you're a big when you've got a big audience coming and stuff like that. And one and it one doesn't even say anything about remixes. The only thing different about these two covers, the little hype sticker. One says two LP, um, set colored vinyl, and the other one says ruby vinyl. So, if you're there in the morning, like Nick, he's going to be polling. He's going to really have to keep his eyes open and make sure, you know, put put a bigger hype, hype sticker on there for anybody from Record Store Day or. The company, the record. Crap. Actually, it's not record store day. It's it would be the the companies that are doing the packaging. Well, it might be. It might. Yeah, I don't know who, who's in charge of that. Well, doggone, I want it changed. Mm. <laughs> uh, we do have Last in Live, Crafty. We we do have the deal. Um, what time do people start lining up? Yeah, probably like around two. Um, there are usually two or three people. It's probably about right. It's probably about the same year. And it really depends on... What do you think the big one is going to be this year that's limited quantity that... Noah Khan. The Noah Khan. Both, the, both Noah Khans. Okay. Well, the seven inch and I don't know about that. There's a second one, wasn't there? Just one? Just, just one, one. Just the seven inch. Seven inch. Okay. I, I believe... You know, it's because they did that Stick Season 3 LP that came out last week. Right. So I'm oh, yeah. Mixed. No, Noah there Khan's, is a... There is a release. I was slash I am... But this coming out in fifteen thousand, and then we, we, do we be, have that? 
I don't. I must. Have, I didn't read it off my list. Let me let me check. I'm gonna go check the. Rack. I gotta get the. I gotta get my glasses on again because you know I'm at that age oh, where I gotta be a blur. Yeah, we got it in. We got it. Should be in one of these crates somewhere. But yeah, Noah Khan's just been a huge seller um, ever since. I think last record store day, I guess. Yeah, Noah Khan. My screen is so dark, but the chat sucker. Oh, your screen's dark? Are you on your TV, computer, or what? You might have to change up your uh, brightness settings or something if you're on a computer or tablet or phone or something. I know sometimes when I, I do that to mine too, and then I'm like, oh, that needs to be changed. Um, as long as he's there, I guess, let me grab some out of here. I forgot what he's looking for. So, I do have everything, every... Tidy looks at maybe a few that I might have missed. I couldn't find it. It's, it, then we might only have one. It's probably in one of these crates. Um, on your phone? Yeah, do you go into your brightness. I don't know. Sometimes I get mine on nighttime setting or I'll get the adjust to the, you know, how you can change the settings. And Y'all are younger and smarter than me when it comes to that stuff, so you should be able to figure it out. <laughs> me, I have to go ask the, you know, the local 12-year-old down the street how to do stuff on mine. Because I know it all. But these are going to be, apparently I, I'm on the crate that's starting with the R's. I don't know what kind of yeah. we have them in. So we'll, we'll just do that. We're not going to get through them all because we're already running. Ramones. Let's see what Two Yardbirds. Yeah, but at least the covers are different. Yeah, these are completely <laughs> different. Like, that's how bad it's getting. Like, well, at least, at least they're completely different. You can't screw that up. But yeah, Two Yardbirds, Psycho Daisies in Live. Todd Rundgren. This one was rather confusing the way they have it listed. Norman Grant's jazz at the Philharmonica. On the list, it's listed as Charlie Parker. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's why it's in the peas. Okay. I like to, with because Nick does the polling and I'm not going to be here. So yeah. usually if I'm in the line and telling him, I'm, I'll go like, that's the bright yellow one. Yeah, yeah, under yeah. Under Charlie Parker, if somebody needs it. Not so. looking forward to that line. Um. Pixies, that would probably be a pretty good song. Like from Red Rocks in 2005. Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Yeah, you know what the title of that is, but they got a half shake out. Up. Yeah, but I put it as the real word, how they had it listed Ooh, down the records. Naughty. I was very naughty. Yes, first time on vinyl. Looks pretty cool. It looks like a bootleg. It sure does, but it's not. But it's not. Dave Pike, and then we got another one that's going old school here with the cover pyramid. The Dwight Yoakam LP box looks just like the CD box. Yes, it does. And it's real. I think that's pretty cool. I almost want to say that it's cute. Cute, it's cute. Yo Dwight Yoakam's first three platinum LPs, first time available for the first time this millennium. Which is the survivor. What else? I'm at the end of the alphabet and you're in the... We're no, just, I'm in the R's and the S's. We're doing that. I got uh, Stephen Wilson from Porcupine Tree, maybe. You've heard of him? No. He's done, he's yeah. done solo stuff, too. <laughs> but yeah, he's out there. Look at this. Well, the weekend, live at SoFi Stadium. This is at least a trifold. I'm thinking it's a two or three LP. Of course, it doesn't say. 56 bucks. Um, like I said, you can always go to our website right now and check out all the photos and the prices and Quantities aren't up. We're working on that now. Free LP on weekend. I figured it was something like that. Here's the Boob LP. Witchfinder Central General? Witchfinder General. Death Penalty. Yeah. It's got boobs on front, boobs on the back. 31 bucks. Then after the boobs, we got the slits. There you go. <laughs> Follows. Nothing. Nothing happens. Fifth anniversary edition. This record does really well for us in the store. Swallow's record. <laughs> I, I'm expecting to sell out of these on Saturday. Mavis Staples. That's pretty neat. No, I don't know if there's any truth to this or not, but somebody, a customer that was in here, was telling me some Reddit feeds they're following and whatnot, that this is supposed to be a huge, the Paul yes. Shore and the Crust Oak and the Crusties. This is one that there's a lot of talk has been generated about. Yep. And I want to say it's pretty limited. It was pushed from following. last. It was Black Friday. from Black Friday. So, yeah, the, I think some of them are signed. 1,200. Oh, I haven't read any of I think if you read into it, every fifth one or every um, 
1,200. 1,200. Um, 75 select random. There's an insert and 75 of them are signed. An art card personal. Oh, I did not read 75 that. 75 on 1,200 is not a very good odds. but Yeah. Some of our stuff doesn't have pictures in it yet because there weren't pictures available. So um, probably, well, obviously the next couple of days I'll have to take some pictures and then upload them. We'll the, go. They're in the... The entries are in yeah, the website, don't they just don't have a photo. A Wilco box, 78 bucks for three LPs in a box, that seems pretty damn fair. It does seem fair. Um, I know, with Wilco being a semi-local band, those are going to go out the door for sure. Wall of Voodoo. Now, they had two releases too, if I'm not mistaken. Did they? I think so. Oh boy. Yeah. The Who, oh. the story of The Who. Oh, and they got a pinball machine in the back. Wall of Voodoo, yes, they have um, Wall of Voodoo self-titled, and then we've got a live 1979, which should be in your stack somewhere. This is self-titled. I didn't grab yeah. everything. I just grabbed. Uh, what we'll do here, so we've got replacements. Hang on, is this the one I said we don't have yet? Oh, look at that. We do have we it. we got a bunch of them. I'll cross that off my list, because I said we didn't have it. I like crossing stuff off my list. <clears throat> You, you can go while I'm crossing. I got uh, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. So of course, it says Four Seasons. We know Frankie Valley's. That's yeah, right. That's Fall, I'm jumping into the yeah, So I got Fog Hat. I got Flying Burrito Brothers. Look at that. We're just all over the place. Too. You know, it's going to be a lot nicer next week for the show because we'll have half the records. <laughs> we do not sell on Discogs. Um, we sell on so we sell on ToadHallOnline.com, yep. on eBay. Phone orders, obviously, but no, not on discogs. We have enough to keep up with what we got. Yeah, we, it's, it's just a manpower thing. We just, we can't sell any more. Rolling places. Stones. The Residents. Faces. Well, this is cool. The picture disc of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. They got it straight. I mean, it's pretty well aligned. They did a good job aligning that. Well, what if they're nice. all aligned like that? Probably not. Eek a Mouse by The Assassinator. I know my buddy's looking for this record. He's going to be excited. Is this is this the group? Oh, the group is Eek a Mouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got that. And Filter's Greatest Hits. Hey Man, Nice Shots, the first song right on it. And take a picture. Is this on um, side B? Good stuff. Oh, you're welcome, dear. I know this is Spark, so I want to point this out to Nick. If you're looking for it, here's the band. Yeah. Just on this little bitty spark. I know the cover. I know. Okay. I knew it was sparks. Um, we didn't get many of those. No, we haven't yet. Sun Ra. Of course, there's always a Sun Ra in there. I think there's two Sun Ra's. There might be. No, this year I think there's only maybe this one. Sisters, Sisters of Mercy. Mercy. Was that on your list of ones that you needed? No. No, Susie, no, Susie, and, the Susie and the Banshees. Sponge. Nancy Sinatra. We've got this... Uh, soft cell. This is a non-stop extended cabaret. Yeah. I like that. I got Death Camp for Cutie 2 LP live uh, spanning three shows in 2020. Um, they must have popped this all together. Stuff from all their whole era. So that's, that's kind of nice. Here's that last in line um, which looks pretty darn cool. And Def Leppard one night only, live at Lead Mill, May of 23. Oh, that's pretty recent. Yeah. This one, you know, we've had a lot of people ask for Thin Lizzy lately. So yes, I'm we gonna, have. I think this is probably going to be a pretty good seller, this Thin Lizzy. Um, Snarky Puppy. I should have these going the other way so I can just look them up. Um, Seven Dust. The, do we get the Dolores Oridian No, right? we have not. It's not in yet. Sonic Youth. It is one of the ones, I think that's going to be super limited. I don't remember how many of them they did, but I know we've had people ask about it. Let me see if I can find Here's the one. deal last in live. At least the covers are completely different. That one's yeah. actually really cool. Big, big guy on it. I like that. Doors, here's the uh, LP version. Mm -hmm. The Dalai freaking Lama is getting in on Record Store Day. Yeah, I know. Dalai Lama record. Craft Recordings putting it out on gold vinyl. I mean, that's pretty cool. Well, Dalai Lama action. The Dolores Riordan uh, is only 600 copies. Ooh, so very, 600. very limited. So hopefully we get one. 
And if we do get any, one will probably be it. I think this is the um, Corey Taylor. Looks just like the band on the wrong It cover. does. Did you notice that, that John Craigie also looks like a Beatles cover? Yeah, let it be. Yep. Um, what do I have here? Tinted windows. Okay, so that's important because Buddy Carlos is in this band from Cheap Trick. Oh, I see him right on the back. There he is right there. And, but, and it's also got uh, Taylor Hansen, Adam Schlesinger, and James I Iha. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Any so, yeah, if you're a cheap trick, trickster, you're going to want to pick that up. Maybe. I don't know. Um, Sister or Sister Rosetta Tharp. Oh, this is actually a 1966. Oh. Oh, good God. I have to put my glasses on. I thought it said in Illinois. It says Limoges. Like Limoges. <laughs> this France. And when I read so I'm like, why even France? That makes no sense. So, that's going to be a good one. Um, Art Tatum. This is a three LP set. This is recorded in 1953. Chicago Blue Note Jazz Club. That's pretty cool. Cranberries. Bury the Hatchet. I think it's a two LP. 39 bucks. Uh, of course, up here. Picture disc. Here it is. There it is. The top this year. Collective Soul Dosage. This is the one record I'm taking home for sure. Which one? I kind of want the... The Cresties, but uh, oh, the door just opened. Let's see what's going on. The oh, 600, John. I'm not sure if it's worldwide or U.S. only. I think our, I think the list that we look at is U.S. only, but I could be mistaken on that because I, I think the list might be divided up according to region or country or something like that. I haven't gone in and looked at any of the other lists this year yet. The Robert Crumb record? This is cool because it's Robert Crumb. Talking Heads. That'll be a big one. Tesla. That'll be a big one. Plus the Union of Souls. She likes me for me. Not because I go to record store day and I buy all the records on Saturday. Well, you could make, you could write a song. It could be the record store day <laughs> theme song. We might have to have somebody else sing it. It's fine. Okay. I'll be like the Bernie Taupin of record store day. Right. Kate Bush, Eat the Music. It's white and then it's cut. yeah limited run regional focus so it will be interesting to see how they're allocated uh ernest tub and his texas troubadours so everybody wants to copy that one right what do i have here television acid king middle of nowhere two lp actually it must have a fourth etching on the fourth side tragically hip who do i have here ub40 40 ultra box Ultramagnetic MCs. I think that Acetone, which is a great. really cool story. Um, live from 1998, they only made one record. And I think the, the was it the singer got was like raped and murdered or something. I don't know. Was it Acetone. Anyway, um, yeah, rare rare to find their stuff. We'll just, we'll see if I can We're not gonna go through them all. Yeah. Probably, we can cut it if you want to. And that. No, I have. Well, what time is it? It's 11.15. Oh, holy crap. Yeah. I got just a handful more. We'll go through these and then we'll let you guys go for the day. Maybe I'll do a little walk by of the wall again. We'll do one more little walk. I'll do a little tour. And we're going to rearrange the whole store still, so. <laughs> but I'll show, at least look at the wall. I'll show you what new stuff we got. Air. Yep, that's it. Stars. Air. Another big one, though. Apparently these have been collectible. I yeah. know people are saying them, but the jazz dispensary. So it looks like we're getting getting into the various artists slash soundtrack yep. That's situation what I right now. Boston Translation Soundtrack. I know this thing was highly sought after for a long time, so it's good to turn it back out. The um, Psych Volume France number nine. I think I picked up one of these one year. I don't remember what volume. Yeah, we had. Though. I think seven was the last. One. We get the uh, Motley Crue picture disc in. No. Not yet. Not, not yet. Maybe Called today. Supersonic and Demonic Relics. No, we have not gotten that in yet. Hopefully today. Orca soundtrack. From NEO. NEO Morricone. Yeah, Morricone soundtrack. And it's, it's, this one, the cover is freaking sweet. So. I've never seen, I've never seen it. a title of his that has doesn't it. have a cool cover. Everyone I've ever seen of their of the his releases have had really awesome covers. They sure do um, cover art. That's awesome. Um, really cool. 
Lost in Translation and different from the previous release? Oh. Um, I believe I this is so. a, it's got an OB strip and it's got it's two LP, so I don't know if it's any different. Just says it's limited deluxe two LP edition. Um Includes a bonus LP featuring unreleased karaoke versions in the film and additional music curated by the director. So, I think the other one was just a single LP. Airplane. The Punisher. Yep, I'm into soundtracks apparently right now. Even more dazed and confused. Um, Spawn. Ooh, that's cool. Black Girl. And of course, oh, yeah. Cheech and Chong is off the smoke. Awesome. And smoking right green vinyl. There was one release, and we I don't remember which one it did come, and it's not this one. I think it was that, or was it just an, that came with a pack of rolling papers? Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't remember which one it is, though. I know a lot of people are looking for Murder Was the Case, a really good Snoop Dogg, Nate Dogg. Dog Pound, Dr. Dre, all on this with a cool cutout. I think it's going to be a hot title. Um, Butterfly in the Sky by the Octopus Project. Rocky Horror Picture Show, 50th Anniversary Edition, Richard O'Brien's original demo tape. Course. I know why you put this one in my pile. There you go. Story de Vida y Malavita. So another El Morcone release here. Um, and I think we're going to cut the RSD stuff there. I got more videos coming. When everything gets in here and we move stuff, we do a video. There's more stuff coming. I'm going to do a quick walk through the wall and up okay. the store. Cool. And then we're going to let, give you guys your day back. Yeah. So. Thanks for joining us. I'm. He's going to do the walk through. So I'll get some stuff cleaned up here. So we got... There's some new stuff on the wall. Well, it's kind of... I don't know if you've seen all this stuff. There might be a few new pieces up here. A lot of box sets going up on the wall. Every time I die, Panic at the Disco, Alice Clark. This uh, Country Drill and the Fish box is new. Um, I think most of this stuff was up. Oh, this four discos only is a four LP set indie dance music from 76 to 81. It's kind of neat. Well, let's go behind the counter because I think there's a lot of new stuff over there. We're starting to look at all the racks. That's one, two, three, four, five racks, and there's stuff on the floor and fully underneath. So I wasn't able to show everything. Well, let's see what we got here. Literally, there's a Moby up there, a Melvin's record, a rare Melvin's record. AGR The Click Deluxe. Um, that's an original Nirvana, but not Kurt Cobain's Nirvana. That Moby record. That's a pretty rare piece. Original Smiths. Import ACDC. All right, guys, that's going to... I'm at the reach of my, mo my uh, Wi-Fi here. So thanks so much for watching. More stuff coming, more organization coming, more of everything coming. I mean, it's only Tuesday. We got a few more days to get it going. So thanks so much. I won't see you this weekend, but everybody have a